I once traveled to Texas to present at a software technical event. The event venue and hotel also had the Mary Kay Cosmetics Convention at the same time. The uh, hotel lobby had the, a long check-in line for the Mary Kay, and then there was a counter that had no line, so I went to that line. The hotel staff, a staff tapped me from behind and said, hey, the Mary Kay check-in line is in the long line and not the one I was in. I had to explain that I was there for a technology company and not for makeup. But this is one of many examples I have encountered where assumptions are made on what a technical person should look like. My own life journey is about perseverance and challenging the stereotype of what engineers should look like and be whoever you want to be. I'll go through some of my journeys and learnings and hopefully resonate with some of you, men and women, on what you want to do someday, whether it's here in Silicon Valley or someplace else. I grew up in a poor province of Philippines. I actually didn't know how poor it was until I went to back to visit the, my childhood home, and it was a vacant farm field with remnants of sticks. There was no foundation, electricity, or plumbing. But this early life experiences definitely prepared me for what's to come. My stepdad adapted me and brought my mom and I here in the US when I was 10 years old and found ourselves settling into Oakland, California. Gro growing up in Oakland was definitely a culture shock. I was teased a lot for being small, skinny, dark, very thick accent. But I overcome those criticisms by focusing on what I was good at, which was math and science. In high school, I, I joined Junior Reserve Officers Training Corps, JROTC, to um, strengthen and overcome my small stature. Um, and there I learned to become a leader by being a captain of the rifle team and lieutenant colonel of JROTC. And I talked about these experience and learnings in my college application essays. Although I got into different colleges, Cal Poly gave me the most funds and scholarship. And I believe overcoming my challenges helped me get into college and getting the funds. Coming from Oakland to Cal Poly was another culture shock. Majority of my um, computer engineering courses were dominated by males. And many of them um, already had computer pro programming from high school. I, on the other hand, did not have any exposure of programming until college. When I first had my first computer program, I went to my professor and asked for help. He said that maybe I was not in the right class or the right major. And I, I went back to my dorms completely upset and crying. But I persevered and challenged the, uh, and took tutoring and uh, partnered with classmates to make sure that I can uh, complete the programs. And we would pull all-nighters to get the programs uh, on time and on, with high marks. Later, I went on to um, join the Society of Women Engineers and eventually became president of the College of Engineering Student Council. Key lessons learned here is that folks may put you in a bucket based on your inexperience or how you look, but to never give up and believe in yourself. Cal Poly experience gave me uh, connections to many, many Silicon Valley companies and found my first offer back in the Bay Area, and what a great feeling that was. Exercising resiliency continued as an engineer and in product management roles here in Silicon Valley. When I first joined my, the engineering group, I was the only woman engineer. But Cal Poly already taught me that since there were only two women in my class. Um, and so I just focused on what I was good uh, at learning by doing and then asking lots of questions, which can be very intimidating. 
So I, I observed which senior engineers were more helpful than others and sought them out for help. Uh, perception and unconscious bias in the way, uh, based on how I dress and the pitch of my voice was also something I had to overcome. I tried to dress more conservatively and, um, and put my hair back, put glasses on to, to make sure I'm taken more seriously in my projects. Then I also, the pitch of my voice, I try not to make it so overexcited so that the pitch doesn't get so high. Um, but, um, and some of these became a constructive feedback on my performance reviews as, as something to, to improve over time. From engineering to management, I found the importance of mentors and women empowering women. I, after years of engineering, I was very fortunate to have a woman engineering manager, and boy, was she vocal and strong. She, made, she allowed me to um, lead and became an engineering manager over time. And then I also seeked out mentors, um, men mentors, from engineering to, to uh, product management to really guide me and my development plan. And so should you. As you determine what you want to do, you need to create that plan and meet with your managers. Now here I am in product management roles, which is all about owning the product business. This has allowed me to talk to customers in, over the years in over 25 countries around the technology, trends, and the product. During some of my travels, they thought I was the help or the cleaner instead of a speaker at the conference. Especially so when I am in Hong Kong and Singapore, where a lot of the Filipinas are in the service industry um, or in, in domestic health. In the flip side, I've been in Dubai, where I, I was um, uh, taking pictures with some of the students to showcase to their class that, hey, there are women speakers in these events. This event had 200,000 attendees. I've also been in technical customer engagement where the audience would ask for my background or my qualification, but not ask the same to my, the male speakers. So I could get upset and just say, that's not fair, or just take it in stride and just be best at your craft. So over the um, part of my learnings, I feel, is giving back to the community that helps shape who we are. So I co-founded Women's Inspirational Network in my company to share knowledge and experience across the organization. Now it's in 10 countries. As an I became advisory board for Cal Poly Computer Engineering and helped some of the uh, mentor some of the students where I can. And guess what? I got to provide feedback on how those professors should be helping those students that come in their office hours on their computer program to make sure they encourage and help them. So obstacles, biases, stereotypes happen every day. You can you take in those obstacles or learn from them. Stand your ground, stay strong, and you know that you can make a difference in whatever you do. Thank you.